We're following breaking news at four. A Bell Ridge man in prison for the past quarter of a century is now being called a serial killer by local prosecutors. They say DNA evidence now links him to the remains of four different women who were killed decades ago. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here. I'm Kay Quinn. 73 year old Gary Muhlberg has been in prison since 1995 for killing a man who tried to buy a car from him. Well, now in a case pieced together by local law enforcement over the decades, AIDS, Muhlberg has confessed to killing as many as five women, many who were sex workers when they were killed. Our Justina Coronel was at the news conference just a few hours ago. She joins us live from Clayton. Justina. Yeah, okay, so prosecutors say these crimes are heinous and gruesome, and thanks to technology, some of these cold cases finally have some answers. Now, 73-year-old Gary Mulberg, who is currently in prison, is now charged with crimes prosecutors say he committed back in the early 90s. Four women were strangled and stuffed in various containers and packages. Now, after DNA testing showing he was matched, investigators told Mulberg the death penalty penalty would be off the table if he cooperated. He confessed to killing these women between 1990 and 1991 after picking them up along Cherokee Street in St. Louis. And today we heard from O'Fallon police detective Jody Weber who made the DNA breakthroughs and she says she was determined to find an answer. My first question was is DNA. Uh, DNA was getting more popular back then. So I started to, uh, I gathered all the evidence from the O'Fallon case and Lincoln County case, and I had it tested for DNA at that time. You know, to be able to tell them what happened to their loved ones was an incredible feeling. Now, prosecutors say they don't know a motive, and it could be a possibility that there are more victims. Reporting in St. Louis County, Justina Cornell, five on your side.